Dad and I didn't always see eye to eye on everything, but both of us realized that that made us a, a pretty good team, complementing each other and kind of balancing out our strengths and weaknesses, and whether that was in the business world or uh, slaying fish in Alaska. Uh, if anyone out there is from the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, please understand that we uh, never went over our limits. I so appreciate Dad and uh, the time that we got to spend together, whether in the business world or, or exploring Southeast Alaska, uh, he's truly helped me become the man that I am today, and I shall be forever grateful for that. Uh, I, 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 I miss him, but I'm so glad that we have the memories uh, to be able to take with me for the rest of my life. Um, I do want to make sure one thing is set straight. You may hear from time to time that uh, uh, Donnie was the better fisherman. Uh, I just want to make sure that it's understood that it was probably dad or I that was truly uh, the, the, the better. Um, he will be missed, and, uh, and I love him. If you know me, you know how much I adored my dad. I loved spending time with him, and from the time I was a teeny kid, I loved doing things with dad. Whether it was just working around the property, fixing fence, chasing cows, whatever it might be, I just loved spending time with dad. And fishing. I loved to fish with dad. And I've had many opportunities over the years to fish with dad in Alaska, and they're some of the best memories of my life. The first time, I remember we were up on uh, Hamilton River and it was a chilly, rainy, miserable day and there wasn't much action and I cast my line out behind this big rock in the river. I just knew something was holding up in there and sure enough I caught this nice silver and landed it and a little while later I caught another one and I hear dad say to Wade, that little twerp? And then he says, Donald, what are you using? And I said, well, that's a MEPS number four. And he said, well, what color is it? 
And I said, well, I think it used to be green, but most of the paint is gone. Next thing I know, I look over across the river and he's got his pocket knife out and he's furiously scraping all the paint off of his lure. And I still have that lure as a keepsake and I treasure that in our memories. We had so much fun together up there. We'd load up the boat in the mornings with fishing gear and Dr. Pepper and jerky and crab we cooked the night before. And we'd set off on another adventure and we'd say, Dad, where are we gonna go today? And he'd say, anywhere you want, man, I'm just the driver. And away we'd go with a smile on our faces and in our hearts knowing that we just loved where we were, what we were doing and being with the people we loved. I'll treasure those memories for the rest of my life. And there's one other that's near to my heart. And uh, uh, we've got a little place in Eastern Washington, a little ranchette, and uh, mom and dad were out there last summer. And dad was on the bobcat cleaning out these wetlands that we have. And so I walked down to see what he was up to. And I just stood back and watched him for a while, just with a smile on my face. And uh, I'm watching him and he, he's, he's got the bobcat going forward and back and forward and back and the funny thing is he's not going anywhere and I realize he's got himself stuck. He's stuck between a tree and a stump and pretty soon he looks over and notices me standing there and he, he kind of startled. He's like, oh, and he shuts the key off and I uh, climbs out of the bobcat and he's like, well, Donald, I got myself in a predicament and I said, yeah, dad, I can see that and we walk around the property talking and, uh, and then mom and Trish and I went off to a class and the next morning he says, Donald, I need you to pull me out. Your ma won't do it. And I said, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So I go up and get his pickup and I climb in and I feel like a little kid again. And he feels like everything comes full circle. I'm in his truck and it's all beat to heck and it's filthy and there's junk all over the dashboard like there always was stuff all over the seat I can't move the seat forward so I'm perched on the front of the seat and I can barely see over the steering wheel but I drive down and hook up the Bobcat and I start to pull him out and nothing's happening it's not we're not going anywhere and I'm trying and pretty soon I, I get out and I'm like dad I'm, I'm giving it a ton of gas and nothing's happening. And he goes, oh, well get in and put it in neutral and burn off the smoke. So I get in, put it in neutral. I've got it floored, the engine's revving and black smoke is just pouring out of this truck. I put it back in drive. Sure enough, now I've got power and I darn near tip the Bobcat over. But I get him pulled out and we have a chuckle. And it just reminds me of all the times I remember as a kid doing the same thing with dad and how much I just loved spending time with him, just being with him no matter what we were doing. Dad was a larger than life, one of a kind, and he taught me you could do anything you set your mind to and I'll always be grateful to you for that, dad. And I miss you terribly and I love you. Thank you for everything. Thank mm -hmm. you. So there's something that I've really noticed since 
um, dad passed and that is that I am really hyper aware of myself because um, I know that dad is watching me all of the time and not just some of the time. So there's that. Um, I read something that meant a lot to me um, and that is that there are moments which mark your life. Moments when uh, you realize that nothing will ever be the same that life and time is divided into two parts, before this and after this. And that is my life now. Um, Dad was just incredible at giving great advice, and I was just incredible about not taking it. Um, but there was a particular time in my life where my dad said the words I needed to hear. And for one of the few times I took the advice, it changed the course of my life. My dad is my hero. It has been for as long as I can remember. I already miss him so tremendously. I um, am grateful and so proud to have been that man's daughter. I am thankful for the peace I feel inside knowing that I'm going to see him again and that he will be with me throughout the course of my life now in a different way. So dad, until we meet again, I love you and thank you. to let everybody know how much I appreciate dad and everything he did for me. I wouldn't be where I'm at today without him. Um, he gave me the life that I wouldn't have had otherwise and I'm very grateful for that. I've really enjoyed the last three years especially with him living at my place. I'm gonna miss you dad. Rest in peace. You will always be in my heart. Love you. Dad, you're a really great guy. I mean, you're always an inspiration to me. You always knew what to say, even though I didn't listen all the time, and I was pretty dumb a lot, but I love you, Dad. Always have, always will. And even though you're out on your big, next big adventure and probably having more fun now than you ever did here, I'm gonna miss you and I love you. And I know I'm gonna see you again, eventually. And 
I'm looking forward to it, even though it's going to be years down the road. And I'm going to try to do my best here and try to remember everything you taught me and just try to be the best person I can be because I know that's what you would want. I love you.